Why did the US use bears as pilots? Well, during the Cold War, the US wanted to make a bomber that was faster than anything the Russians had. This took shape in the form of the Convair B-58 Hustler, the first bomber capable of Mach 2 flight. But there was just one big problem with this revolutionary aircraft. It killed you. See, in 1959, one of these bombers crashed. Luckily, all three crew members ejected, but sadly one died anyway. Turns out ejecting at breakneck speeds, well, breaks your neck. So a fella named Bob Stanley invented a new type of ejection seat. One that fully encloses the pilot in a capsule, then launched itself into the air and ejected a parachute, theoretically safely bringing the pilot to the ground. But this was all in theory. They needed someone or something to test it. That something came in the form of young Himalayan and American black bears. But why bears, you may ask? Well, they're closer to the weight and stature of humans than the usual test subjects of chimpanzees and dogs. So in 1962, they heavily sedated a bear, stuck it in a B-58 and ejected it into the sky at Mach 1.3. It then safely made its way to the ground and after examination was found to be completely fine. Success! So they ramped up their speed and conducted more bear-based tests. But even at Mach 1.6, the bear was fine, mostly anyway. It did suffer a fracture in the pelvis, a hemorrhage in the neck muscles and a nosebleed, but it did survive. So they then moved on to human trials with even better success. But what happened to those bears? Well, don't worry. After the test, they received the usual complete medical examination, which is code for they were all killed and cut open to check the effects on their internal organs. Yep, yeah, so none of them survived.